Hello there. I'm the senior investigator of the ICAC, ISA. Hong Kong is known as a clean society. To uphold our probity culture, let's make it a point to start with our daily lives. You may not know, some terms we come across are related to our fight against corruption. I'm going to share a few of these terms with you now. Firstly, introduction fee. Some money is paid for an introduction of something or someone, but many times a person is not allowed to accept this fee, so think before offering. Ali, how are things going with you? Very well. Good to hear. Keep working hard. You're new, so look. You must maintain relationships to keep your job. Thank you, boss. I know you look out for me. Could you help my relative? He needs work, too. Of course, if he pays the introduction fee. A fee? That's how it is. He has to pay me an introduction fee to get him a job. Same for you. Be smart and you'll keep your job. Be smart meaning? Each of your colleagues gives me 500 bucks every month. So what about you? I see. Let me think about it. As you wish. But don't take too long or you'll lose your job. The foreman here made use of his position and asked his workers for introduction fee or tea money. It breaches the prevention of bribery ordinance. Trade practice is no defense. In such a situation, you should refuse to pay and report this to the ICAC. People who pay money to get a job or to keep a job also breach the anti-bribery law. Hello. Today I'd like to talk about sincerity. This means treating others wholeheartedly. One must be careful when expressing sincerity so as to keep compliant with the law. Mr. Chow, my family's coming to Hong Kong next week to see me, so I'd like to swap my shift for next week to uh, have Sunday off. It isn't easy to swap shifts. Everyone here wants to take a day off. In that case, who will work on Sunday? Mr. Chow, I'm asking because I know Fanny has arranged the same. She's taking a Sunday off. Well, that's different. Fanny's quite diligent and very sincere. Mr. Chow, I've heard that Fanny has dozed off at work. Sometimes she's even vanished from the workplace. Don't care about others, just mind your own business. I heard from residents too. A few of them have made complaints to you. Really? What I know is Fanny shows more sincerity. Huh? You mean sincerity? If you lack the sincerity, be prepared for hardship at work, such as working at the car park outdoor. A private company employee accepts or solicits any advantage at work without their employer's approval is in breach of the Prevention of Bribery Ordinance. It is also illegal to offer an advantage. Mr. Chow, the supervisor, solicited an advantage from Kathy, the security guard, in exchange for preferential treatment. Fanny, as well, breached the law by offering an advantage to Mr. Chow to get a day off, justifying it as showing sincerity. An advantage is not defined in monetary term. Apart from money, any gift, employment, loan, service, and favor are advantages. Next, I'd like to talk about record. This means the keeping of information. It's important to keep genuine and accurate records at your job. You must work faster. After block A is done, you must do block B. But there should be somebody else to do that. I don't understand why we should. Manpower's tight at the moment, so please hurry up. What manpower problem? Several workers signed the attendance record this morning, but they seem to have disappeared, and others are taking prolonged sick leave. They rarely show up. Mind your own business and focus on your job. Now don't forget, you have Block B to do too. I think you've spoken too much. Let's finish our work. But our boss overstates the number of workers. He enters that number on the attendance records, and orders us to sign inflated salary records. I'm really afraid that we'll get dragged into it. But he's our boss, so we can't do much. Don't talk too much, or you might lose your job. Back to work. The supervisor intended to deceive his employer with false attendance and salary records, breaching the prevention of bribery ordinance. All workers who signed falsified records will be suspected of the intent to deceive. If you are asked to deceive your employer with falsified records, you should refuse to do so and report this to the ICAC. Cut. We're done. With me is the director. We're at the ICAC regional office. Hi, sir. From time to time, you encourage the public to report corruption. How can one make a report to the ICAC? 
people can make a report to the ICAC in person, by phone, or by mail. Is the process complicated? And I'm also worried about my identity being revealed. Don't worry. The process is quite simple and confidential. All members of the public are welcome to visit the ICAC regional offices for inquiries.